A mobile community cafe could be set to expand in the new year. Tuck In is based at one of Aberdeen's main food banks. It aims to tackle hunger and food poverty. Colin White reports. It's got three wheels and a big heart. Tuk-tuks are normally found abroad, often transporting tourists. The Aberdeen version has a serious mission. From its base near the harbour, it takes hot, healthy food to some of the most deprived areas in the city. Sweet roast veg and beetroot and potato today. Honestly, it's the highlight of my lunch week, especially when the weather's like this. Just some hot soup. Today. Fresh fruit, £1.50, can't beat it. With a top speed of 28 miles an hour, Richie's rarely in danger of breaking the 30 limit. It smells quite nice, actually. Gives us a, an affordable lunch, kind of on the nutritious level. Sea finds a good service in general, but the tuk tuks are a nice way of, yeah, getting a nice soup and a, a bit of portion of fruit. I've been doing it for about a year and a half to two years now, and I just enjoy coming out of it, seeing the public, and just serving people a nice, healthy lunch. And sometimes you get people that's a bit hard up on money. So you, you give them a, a free soup, a piece of bread and a fruit pot, just to put a smile on the face. I think it's a really good service and it's good for the local people. It's, the food's very good and very cheap. The food's very healthy. They do a lot of community events and um, they come into the community areas with the van, which is absolutely brilliant. It's low cost, good quality food, and they also do all the community events. And it's all free when it's at a community event, yeah. so it's very, yeah. very good. Yeah, yep. and it's uh, and this lovely food. It's, it, with no complaints from no. anybody that has it. But as I it's nice and healthy for everyone, and it's in cheap and easy. The Tuk Tuk's been a big success, but it only operates in a few areas. Next year it will expand to even more. The general public when you're driving around in it, you always get the thumbs up, two to the horn, put smiles on people's faces. Colin White, STV News, Aberdeen.